Good evening. We have talked a lot about vaccine mandates. Tonight, we lead off here with a very public debate about mask mandates. This fight is playing out in Dallas, Texas, between two high-profile elected officials, and it started during a public meeting. Judge Clay Jenkins was presiding over the Dallas County Commissioner's meeting and announced that everyone there was required to wear a mask. Commissioner J.J. Koch questioned the order, wouldn't wear a mask, and as a result was basically kicked out of the meeting. Now, complicating things was an order from Governor Greg Abbott saying state and local governments were not allowed to impose mask or vaccine mandates. So, Koch asked if it was even legal to require masks. Jenkins countered that Governor Abbott was overstepping his authority and setting pandemic rules at the local level was part of Jenkins' job. Hard to believe, or maybe it isn't at this point, but lawsuits have been filed and the debate over wearing a mask is now being determined in a court of law. That's where we are. This is what it has come to in our country, and it's where we start tonight with the two men at the center of this standoff. They're both with us tonight. We appreciate their time. Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins and Dallas County Commissioner J.J. Koch. And Judge, we'll get to you in a minute, but we want to start with Commissioner Koch. It sounds to me, Commissioner, like this really wasn't about the masks for you. It was more about how it went down. It's about the rule of law. I was extraordinarily disappointed in the judge for citing a piece of authority coming from the Texas Supreme Court saying that our body was a court, like a real court of law. Texas has some silly things regarding how we name things. We have a railroad commission that does oil and gas. Our commissioner's courts are executive and legislative bodies, not a judicial body. In fact, we explicitly in our lawsuits make sure we say, hey, we are not a court, so that way we're not dragged into certain types of lawsuits. I mean, that was a flat out legal lie told by our county judge. Using authority that you don't have is inappropriate at any time. Well, it and sounds masks like may be appropriate at some time. Right. It sounds like the authority has been upheld, though, Commissioner. At least one, and I think maybe even two judges have upheld this county mandate that we're talking about here. Yeah, just one activist judge here in Dallas County has decided to issue a temporary restraining order uh, on the governor's lawful order uh, over the entirety of the state of Texas. Uh, I anticipate that that TRO is going to be overturned in, in short order. Uh, this particular activist judge has done things like this before uh, and has been overturned by higher courts. Uh, we're going to get a place where we get some legal sanity here soon, but unfortunately, Judge Jenkins is playing games with the people's time and money. How far will you take this, Commissioner? All the way to the Supreme Court. If you need to. All right, now clear something up for me. Was this um, order from Judge Jenkins about this particular meeting, or was it a countywide mandate? Uh, at the time when we were in Commissioner's Court, his mass mandate was only for our commissioner's court, a body that meets okay. twice a month with about 40 people. So his life-saving effort at that time was for 40 people twice a month. It was political theater. And unfortunately, uh, that political theater came at the cost of the rule of law. Well, couldn't you argue, though, that the theater was actually added to by you? You knew going into this meeting that you were supposed to wear the mask and then you were essentially had to be escorted out. Uh, that's my question. Is, it all, is this all theater? I did not know that I had to wear the mask. In the first minute while the invocation was going on, Judge Jenkins tugged my jacket and said, hey, listen, uh, I got off the phone with the UT Southwestern folks. I need you to wear this mask. And he pulled a mask out of his desk telling me that I had to wear it. I was shocked because I believe and, and still understand GA 38, the governor's order to be in effect. Yeah, so I read somewhere where you had been at a Starbucks earlier that day and had a mask on to go in. What's the difference between that? Why not just wear it in the meeting and figure this out later? Sure. Uh, there's a difference between a lawful order and an unlawful order. Uh, there are plenty of folks that are my constituents that refuse to wear a mask because they believe that it does not stop the spread of COVID effectively, that it is not an effective measure. I disagree with them, but I do disagree that they have certain legal rights and they were given the right by their governor to not have to wear a mask. Now, I may choose to wear a mask in certain situations, but I'm not going to force my constituents that have decided they are not going to wear a mask, that they have decided so based on the governor's lawful order. Uh, I'm not going to turn my back on them, as Judge Jenkins has done regarding the rule of law. Right, right. So, Commissioner, all politics is local. We know that. Texas is a big state. Why shouldn't local jurisdictions essentially decide what's best for them. 
Yeah, yeah we did have that kind of uh, patchwork for quite some time. Uh, as we were developing in these phases and cycles of this crisis, we did have uh, some local officials doing very different things. And Governor Greg Abbott uh, tried to make that work. Unfortunately, uh, a number of our large county executives, including Judge Jenkins, mm -hmm. went too far. Uh, so far as to harm businesses, so far as to harm individuals' rights. That's when he had to step in and stop the madness. Um, he's going to get a chance to do that again at the Texas Supreme Court when the Attorney General brings this particular case up to the Texas Supreme Court. All right. Dallas County Commissioner J.J. Koch, thanks for your time tonight. We appreciate you joining us. Thank you. We want to turn now to Dallas County Judge Clay Jenkins, who is with us. And we should point out, Judge, as well, that, that it's a title in Texas as the, the chair of the county commissioner's court. Um, I'm guessing the governor is just as sure he has the authority to do this as you are that he doesn't. Where does that leave us? Oh, I don't know that that is true. The governor has actually put on the call for a special session here in Texas, giving him to the authority, asking the legislature to pass new laws to give him the authority to stop us from having mass mandates. So one might wonder if he already has the authority, why does he need the legislature to pass laws to give him the authority? Uh, the important thing for us to remember, though, is the governor's not the enemy. Commissioner Koch is not the enemy. There's a lot of politics where it doesn't need to be. We're all on the same team, and that team is public health. The enemy is the virus. We need to focus on doing what the doctors tell us to, to do to stay safe. And what the local doctors and the CDC are telling me is we need to wear masks indoors, so that's what we're going to be doing now. Right. And... Uh, did, did, did you uh, unilaterally make this decision, Judge? That's one thing I couldn't find in my research today. It, it, was this your decision alone, or was it up to the, the county commissioner's court to vote on this? Well, it, under our statutory framework, uh, it's my decision. But before making that decision, I convened all the school superintendents of public schools. I talked to the Retailers Association, the Bar Association, the Restaurant Association, the Manufacturers Association, our Chamber of Commerce, our Citizens Council, and many, many others. In fact, I just got off a, a phone call with private schools uh, who are not included in this right. order. It, had you brought uh, it up to the court, though, would it have passed? It, I believe it would have, but again, uh, under our statutory framework, the state law is very clear. This is an emergency order to be made by me and my capacity as emergency management director. I have many hats. Chairing the commissioner's court meeting is one of those responsibilities. Uh, uh, managing emergencies is another, and that is by Texas statute and law. So Commissioner Koch called you an activist judge and said essentially that, that you're, you're doing this illegally. Uh, what is your response to that? Well, uh, actually, Commissioner Koch called the judge that he filed his lawsuit in front of an activist judge well, uh, because the judge uh, uh, denied him his relief. Right. Do you think had this come up in another in another court? Uh, there, there are a lot of judges here, Judge. Forgive me for, for confusing that. But uh, had this been in another area of Texas, there's a chance you think that this uh, you, this would have failed, perhaps, where you've won? Uh, you know, I am a recovering lawyer, and I don't speculate on what every judge uh, would do. We believe we're on very solid legal footing. Um, the law gives the governor the ability to suspend regulatory rules, like having to take a board to be a nurse from Louisiana and practice in Texas. It doesn't give him the authority to stop mayors and county judges from responding to emergencies. The judge uh, agreed with us. Also, other judges in Texas in other areas are all agreeing with us as well as these cases are coming up. You know a lot of people are going to watch this judge and, and sort of shake their heads and say, of all the things you have on your agenda there in Dallas County, you're going to court and arguing about wearing a mask. Well, I agree. And, uh, I wish Commissioner Koch hadn't sued us. Again, this shouldn't be political. This is about public health and saving lives. And that virus doesn't care whether you're a Republican or a Democrat. It only is looking for a host, and that's how viruses work. And so the people that have trained their entire adult lives to advise us in this moment work at the CDC and our local hospitals. And what they're all saying is right now in Texas and in North Texas, in an area of high spread where for 8 million people in a 19-county area, we only have two pediatric ICU beds left. 
it's time to wear a mask indoors. And so it stands for now. We'll see where it goes legally. Judge Clay Jenkins, Dallas County, thank you, sir, for your time. Appreciate it. Thank you.